Hi everyone, welcome to my Sims 2 Let's Play of my custom neighborhood, Lucia. Over the past few years, the quaint fishing town of Lucia has been getting some much needed updating. With a new in initiative to uplift new and revitalize old businesses put into play by Mayor Stafford, hopefully this town can become a bustling city. So I've been working on this custom hood since summer, fall of 2020 and started by making the sims just playing around in body shop and then really got inspired to make my custom hood after watching cindy pleasant sims and the just the channel so here is an overview of the city we've got the rural area over here and over here we've got the urban area downtown with the city hall and shops and apartments and here we have the beach so the first town the first household that we're going to go into is the stafford household which is the mayor his wife and his son okay so we here we are loaded into the mayor's household this is russell stafford he is the freshly appointed mayor of the town he took this position after the passing of his first wife Annie who is the mother of his son Nate and she is a descendant of one of the original settlers of the town so she had a very great love for Lucia and she passed away before she could do a lot of the plan things that she had planned for the city such as creating a school currently the students of the town have to take a train and pretty much go to like a what I call a boarding school well at least for the private school students but for the public school students they have to go to the next town over just to go to class every day so whether that's and that's usually by train since that's the mode of transportation that I have set up for the town so after she passed he really felt like he wanted to take on that role for her and see the things that she did not get to see come to fruition and so that is his plan and this is Eloise she is Russell's second wife she is a scientist and she is she and Nate don't really have the greatest of relationships but she is really trying to win him over and not in the sense that she wants to replace his mother but just that she wants to see that she does not have to take that role. She can play a different role. And this necklace that she has um, is a family heirloom. So she wears that all the time. And as we can see, Russell wants to have a baby. And if he can, we will see this necklace passed on to the generations. And um, I also play with ages. So right now, Russell is 43. And Eloise is 41, so they're a little bit in the middle to late part of their lives. And so hopefully Eloise can still get pregnant. That's something that he'd really like. And I didn't mention it before, but I play a one day equals one year rotation. And I play with the speed at 50. And that is actually something that I have put into my gameplay since watching any bats gameplay i really liked how i could spend like short but long at the same time like bursts with one household and i feel like it would keep the storytelling and the drama that unfolds together and over here sorry for the lag there let me just spin around a little bit to get the things loaded all right so here we have young Nate and Nate is about 16 and as we can see here he has the wants to see the ghost of his mother and to get a job in the medicine career and he actually rolled this want after his mother passed she passed of an illness so it's been kind of become like his life goal to <clears throat> become a doctor and to maybe open up a hospital or a clinic here in town so that residents don't have to travel to another town over just to get that stuff because like I said this was just a small fishing town so the only amenities that they really had here 
before the initiative set on by Russell were the farmer's market and the church and then the hotel by the railroad. That was just about it. So let's get into their gameplay. All right, so he's going to walk right past the dirty dishes and go read a book. Eloise is making the bed. And Russell here is playing the piano. Now I'm going to have Eloise get ready for her work day. And Russell, you need to get something to eat here. See if we've got any leftovers in the fridge. Yesterday they had the... Well, they hosted the meet and greet, and uh, I wish I had recorded it. It was absolutely insane having, like, 20-plus sims in this little crowded area, and lots of fights happened. I don't know if he has the memory of it. He does not. But <laughs> it was between, I think it was Todd and Jiwon, but they were not having it and then Todd's sister Paige had to get into it so I'm just excited for when we see all that stuff so Eloise is finished getting ready and she is not really hungry but she wants to gain a logic skill point but I think she's not gonna have enough time to do that so I'm going to have her just clean the sink And Nate's fun is really not going up that high, but they don't have any televisions or anything electronical because um, I want them to buy them from the electronics store. So he's just going to sit here and read a book, but he's a more serious sim anyway. So I feel like this should be getting his fun up way more than it actually is. And he might just eat breakfast at school. All right, so there's Eloise. They're going out to their little hoopty. Oh, and here we have Darian, and he is the architect. So he's the one who's go building up all of the new buildings. And... He likes to come by the mayor's house sometimes. He probably didn't realize that the mayor was going into the city hall to work today, but they like to talk about the different projects that they've got going on. The next one on the priority list is the university. And just recently they added an orphanage and we will get to see that later on as well. Yep, so now his fun is going up, getting a little reading up and he'll eat breakfast on the way to school. Or at least maybe he'll just wait until lunch. We'll see. But we're going to try and get him the job in the medicine career. Yeah, hopefully we can do that before he ages up. And he will be going to college. And that is the main reason why the university is on the top of the priorities for um the mayor and for the and for Darian to do oh she just left the bowl there All right, so Nate's grades are improving, which is great. They kind of suffered a little bit after the passing of his mother. Oh, and look at the clouds. I love the sky overlay. That's so awesome. Yep, so he's just going to take his homework right into the house. All right, get him to wash his hands. And he's a bit hungry, so he's going to have some lunch. Or actually, it's the newspaper here. I actually think they put it back here, yes. 
So he is going to check the newspaper for a job. He does not have his own computer just yet. The only household computer is in his dad's office, which he is not allowed to go into. That room is locked for everyone other than Russell. Dance. Nope. Not architecture. And not business. Alright, so no medical. So instead, what I'm going to have him do, I'm going to have him walk to the city hall and library. Where they have computers that are open to the public. And he also can check the job board. Alright, and here we are at the library. Oops, I forgot to put the ceilings on. <laughs> that is totally fine, though. So, we've got some Sims here. We've got Quentin, who owns the electronics store. And we've got Jermaine. So, I'm going to have him come over here and... Career, no. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to have him find a... It probably was on there and I was just looking over it. But I'm going to have him join the medicine career from this job board. Oh, and his grandfather is also here. So he can give him a little chat once he takes this job. Alright, talk, chat. And he wants to grow up well. So he's just talking about how, kind of his lack of friends in town and maybe his grandfather suggesting that he gets a puppy but maybe a puppy isn't going to be too suitable with him going off to college I don't think he'll be allowed to have any pets in the dorm but and then you know just keep keeping his spirits up despite the lack of friends his grandfather has a a lot of faith that Nate will do well, just like how his mother did. We've got a bunch of other Sims in here. This is Garth, who I actually have not played yet. He is new in town. He owns the orphanage, which I think we can see from here, actually. Yep, there it is right there with the very colorful windows and with the bus stop in front of it. Yep. And then here we have Mariah love her she's one of my favorites she is the local witch and lots of fun things happening when we get to her household and like i said earlier this is quentin this is trina she is currently a waitress at the bistro and this is Chantel, and she is her co-worker she is the chef at the bistro and I think over here we've already introduced Jermaine, but this is Theo. And these two are roommates along with another sim named Nash who owns the local diner. <laughs> Alright, so we're just going to come back over here and continue watching these two while also trying to get a glimpse of what the other sims on the lot do right, oh he's striking up conversation on his own oh play kiki back with his grandfather this is cute yeah so he does not have a very strong relationship with his grandparents and i really think that has to do with the fact that he's so busy he's always going to school and the fact that his grandparents live in the rural side and are very busy with their farm and trying to keep track of their harvest and things of that nature but i do hope that you know in the future he can rebuild that relationship or at least build the one that he never had with them. Oh. 
And look at what decided to come into view. So my game, I have ACR, but I also have the Romantic Standards mod because I felt like ACR was making it a little bit too, um, a bit too easy to have relationships begin. So the Romantic Standards mod has definitely helped in that regard, but it's still really funny, like, how quickly my sims tend to fall in love with each other. Alright, so yeah, this is just more of an overview, which I realized I didn't do, of the library. So we've got the computers on this side, the books over here. Oh, his grandfather rejected him playing, um... red hands with him and upstairs we have the bathrooms and this is an empty room i did not put a door to it because i have not yet decided what i want to do i feel like i want to maybe split this in half and have the mayor's office on one half and then on this side maybe like a smart small courtroom so i don't think i'm going to have crime be a thing in this town i feel like that's just a lot of upkeep that i'm not looking to deal with right now but i think it would be nice if sims looking to get married but don't want to have a traditional wedding or don't like a venue at their maybe in their backyard or even going to the church i'd like for them to just have like the opportunity to just legally get married here at the city hall so that's something that i'm thinking about doing all right, so tell a story about mechanics because his hobby is tinkering. So maybe his grandfather will take up an interest in that as well. Play catch? Oh, okay, well he's down with that. He'll play catch. All right, let's see where they go. Oh, Quentin's so cute trying to catch butterflies. <laughs> oh, that's really nice. And I love these neighborhood decorative pieces right here. It really just adds to the town. So they're kind of like in an awkward little position for me to get a nice angle on, but... Yeah, so Jermaine just left, and it looks like Theo might be leaving as well. I'm gonna put down the walls just so then we can still get a view of what's going on in here. And he's getting hungry, so I'm going to see if maybe we can give him a hug, and then we'll have him walk back home. Oh! Grandpa was not ready for that. Which is very sad. Is there a way for me to... Oh, but they did a family kiss just fine. Alright, well, I'll take it. <laughs> I accept it. We're gonna walk home. Oh, this is so cute. Garth just standing in... And I believe he may be a nature sim. But this is a really cute screenshot. Which, by the way, I'm going to be pausing a lot and taking screenshots because uh oh and he's sniffing the flowers now so cute i love taking screenshots so please excuse that during my gameplay okay so we are back home and we're getting home at the exact same time oh and he's going right to work so his dad got out the car and now he's going right in oh that's awesome nate on his first day of work and Russell is going to play <laughs> in the puddle. He's not even really, he's not even playful like at all. All right, anyway, let's get the mail. Be responsible. And just pay them right away. Yep, very good. And I have him take a bubble bath. It's been a long day working at City Hall.
All right, so after his shower, he is up here and he's going to call Priyanka. She is the owner of the local pet cafe, and I believe it's important that he fosters a good relationship with the business owners since they are part of his initiative and he's invited them here to basically bring more business and tourists and more residents to come live in this town and eloise is now home she is this is actually a werewolf i believe anyway yeah because i don't have any um what was i gonna say i don't have any strays in my town so she wants to stargaze she wants to be struck by lightning go roller skating and play catch i unfortunately do not have a roller skating rink just yet so i'm gonna have her clean up this stinky bowl bills are paid and she does want to gain a logic skill point so i believe yes on the terrace here they have a chessboard oh so that was a relatively quick conversation with priyanka um what is his hobby okay so it's not that what can i have him do let's see let's see if it's film and literature He's writing about Santi Romero. I wonder if he wants to be BFFs with him. <laughs> the chess playing faces are so funny. <sighs> All right, so it's definitely not film and literature. I'll get some leftovers. And he's just gonna have a little late lunch of a sandwich. Um, Nate is gonna have to make sure that he calls Paige when he gets home. Oh, he's so tired, poor thing. But he'll be getting back home in about like two hours. And so he needs two mechanical and then two cleaning skill points. Yup. So we only have two years, which is rotation wise, until we get him, get the university set up and built for him to move in. And when I do that, that hopefully new teens or young adults from other places will enroll in this new university so then we can add even more fresh faces into town okay oh looking right at me but um let's see let's have him join eloise in this game of chess and see if perhaps games is his hobby <laughs> had to stop and admire and admire his wife before coming over hello Riva. well these are bubbly effort huh all right so his hobby is indeed not games let us see okay yeah page is really getting irritated okay well before i go back on the quest to find his um one true hobby um this whole upstairs floor see i took out basically the rooms and made this by the way this house was made by plastic box 
over on Mod the Sim. She makes gorgeous, 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 gorgeous homes. And I especially love her tiny homes. But I really thought that this corner lot and being right in the middle of town, directly across the street from like the main plaza, I thought it was just perfect for the mayor's home. Okay, so games is not his hobby, and this whole area, eventually, I might, like, bring the family upstairs and then make the entire downstairs, like, his office area. And he needs to use the bat. What is he doing? Oh! Yeah, we're gonna let them <laughs> do their business, especially since he wants to have a baby. So that, that chess game really riled him up. <laughs> <laughs> yep and here they go and i'm currently playing with no sound so this is gonna be a surprise oh and he's talking about the baby he's letting his intentions be known let's see casual kiss okay very sweet yeah, he, he very much, oh my god, oh, this is a <laughs> very unfortunate angle, or picked with his, the urn of his late wife, Annie, but he very much loves Eloise as well, let's see, okay, still, still revving up, yeah, I feel, I'm gonna get the urn out of the place. And then Nate is going to be coming home soon. So I'm thinking maybe they're they're taking advantage of the time that they have before he gets here. Okay. Oh, yep. There we go. They're doing it. Did not intervene. That's what I, I don't like to do try for baby unless both Sims have the want to try for baby and since she does not have the want to try for baby he does i don't want to force it on her if it happens it happens so <laughs> but also they're older and fertility with my mods gets affected by their age so i don't know but i'm really excited i love eloise i think she's one of my prettiest sims and so i would love to have her genes continue on in some way all right, so she's getting up. I'm going to have her use the bathroom, wash hands, and she's going to serve dinner, make some turkey, because it's Nate's first day at work. How awesome is that? So he's going to go to bed and take a little nap before I get him up again so then he can do his homework. He currently has a B plus, which isn't bad, but I would like for him to apply for some scholarships as well and see what he can get he does not have a lot of skills unfortunately but maybe he can get some merit-based ones all right russell you can get up and use the bathroom as well wash your hands No, 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 no. Resume cooking, please. Oh my god. Of course. Of course. She walked away for two seconds and set the turkey ablaze. Russell, don't stand in it! Oh my god. He's not gonna be able to even get to it. Okay, good. <sighs> no, don't go brush your teeth. Just go take a shower. And then you need to get the turkey out. Thank you very much, Amin. Up oh, and that awoke him from his sleep. Uh. 
they're going to have burnt turkey for dinner. Thank you very much, Eloise. <laughs> oh, and I forgot to mention, they have traits. Which, this is why it reminded me. She's absent-minded. Her absent-mindedness absolutely was the cause <laughs> of this fire. Also, maybe the fact that she loves the heat, maybe she had the oven temperature up too high. But then again, she's lucky and dramatic and demooch. Hmm. And so then Nate here, he is excitable, a light sleeper, a sailor, and a great kisser, which he has not been able to test out this theory as there's not really much of anybody for him to attempt or to even talk to. Oop, my bad, buddy. We'll go like this. He is unstable, which I thought was funny. These all, all of these traits were rolled randomly, and I rolled them after the death of Annie. So the fact that he rolled unstable, I don't know. I feel like the story is telling itself here. And he's unlucky, a hopeless romantic, loves the cold, and a coward. But I really love the trait system. I really feel like it adds on top of the personality points that we have. I feel like it adds another layer. And that was one of the things I really loved about Sims 3. I loved the trait system. All right, so he's not hungry. So I'm going to have him do his homework. And Russell is going to come out here and join Eloise at the table to enjoy their burnt poultry. I'm actually going to lock in go to college because I really feel like for him to roll that after getting home on his first day of work, I really feel like that emphasized the fact really that he wants to go into the medicine career. Like he's found something that he truly enjoys and he wants to pursue it. And here these two go. They are so cute. It's just so fun watching Sims that, like, they've been sitting in my sim bin, like I said, for two years. And to finally see them together, interacting, it's just, it's something. Oh, and she done left the stank cloud in her seat. Oh, she's nasty. Girl, we need to get you a shower. Take a shower and then please go to sleep. <laughs> And I also noticed that we have these Go Steady ones. I recently downloaded a Adults Go Steady mod. I thought that'd be cute since after playing one rotation, we already seem to have, um, no, why can't he clean up anything? Um, I'm just gonna macro clean. Oh, he's very excited to do that. But um, there's already lots of relationships going on. And I kind of wanted to have a mod so I can differentiate who was more of an exclusive couple thing before getting engaged. And yeah, so hopefully that works out. And they just have these even though they're married. But I think I don't I'm ignoring them. It's fine. All right, and he is almost done with his homework. His fun is just draining. All right, and he is done with his homework and I'm going to have him tinker around a little bit before he goes to bed since that is his hobby. And you know what? I just noticed that we have this punching bag. I'm going to see if I think it's sports for the punching bag. 
but we shall see if this is Russell's hobby. And it is very cool. So I might move this out of Nate's room and maybe put it upstairs in his office. So he has something to like decompress a bit <laughs> during hard days in the office. Hmm. Yeah, why can he clean it up but then? Interesting. Hmm. Maybe he doesn't want to waste the food. Very cute. And sell that. And then I'm going to have you make one more just to get your fun up a little bit. Okay, he's a bit too tired. I'm gonna have you take a bath, sleep in pajamas. All right, you come out here and you get your old self in bed as well while I move your punching bag. Hmm. Where can it even go? I don't think that's appropriate putting it there. <laughs> I don't know why I won't. Oh, well. Okay. There we go. Very good. Very good. And Eloise, um, I don't think that she's pregnant. Her needs don't be seem to be dropping. So it could be because of their age. They are middle age, so it would be harder for them to conceive based on my mods. And young Nate just getting himself together. I actually am going to get her up so then she can clean this up because maybe his instability. That was just something he could not bring himself to do. <laughs> The Nate's going to bed. That poor, poor burnt turkey. Why does nobody want to clean everything up? They always leave one stupid dish. <laughs> oh, and I'd forgotten that she bought a laptop. I was going to have her gift that to Nate as a present for doing so well. Maybe she'll wake him up really quickly. I think I'll have her do that. She's going to knock on his door. And give him a gift. Get up, Nate. Get up. She has something for you. No, he's not going to like that. Give gift. She's going to give him a laptop. Something that he can take with him to school. Sure. Yeah, so he's a little apprehensive, like why are you why are you giving this to me? This is a, a big gift. But 
she's trying she really is she doesn't want to replace his mother but she does want to have a positive relationship with him Very, very cute. I love this. So sweet. Right, so the season has changed over. Or not the season, the day has changed over. So we're going to leave here and head to the next household. But it was very fun to share with you guys my first household of Lucia. And hopefully the next one will be a little bit more action-packed. But since we're just getting with the introductions, it'll be a little bit slower, at least for this household. So thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye.